Dash XP, I would have been like rapping right now, but <laughs> so this game is called Envelopes Please, and what it is is like you play as IR Bamboo, and, like you go around helping everybody get their envelopes. I think it had their scripts in it or shows, or something like that. Oh man, my, I don't know. What they do. Go round about that. Okay, now can't stop to show it up. I love this game. They also had a game like this called, uh, I mean the arrow keeps okay, good. I never actually used the game. Okay. They had a game like this called, uh, well, it's not really like this, but it's like, like, like this, like, crossovers. Oh yeah, that's the broker platters, so you have to give that to him. And, like, you have to get his key or something. I love it. I gotta give him one, so. No, you gotta give him one. Then, uh, these things will move. And, uh, you have to go to this guy. I think you have to give him a flat or two. You know, burger two. God, I love the sound they make when they eat that. Then you have to find a way how to move that. You have to, he could ask him to give the platters out. You have to give, uh,. No, no one's in your pants. You have to give him one. Can you run? Maybe shift? Huh? And you have to go in there. It's locked. And I think he that the um this guy had a key. Can you give me one? Do you have to click on it? Click on oh yeah, I think Scooby Doo was but Oh fuck you. Sorry, but the student was getting me a note. I tried to play the game that was like this. Called uh oh, there's an envelope. That is. I tried to play a game like this called uh, Cartoon Network Resort. Some people might be familiar with this, but uh, I couldn't because uh, Adobe Shockwave or whatever was giving me random problems. But now that it's finally running, I think I should play it after. It's a magical night. I can't use I can't use this to get inside. My Cartoon Network still has this game. Uh, what else am I supposed to do? There's something I had to do. We'll go to him. I think I have to refill the platter. Thank goodness. You found a missing tray. Please return it after you serve the food. Okay, so I have to give people it, but uh, he doesn't want one? You sure? Alright, who else was there? Is that a bottle? Oh, did I have to read that? Hey, fat ass, you want one? I have a famous one. It's just in the VIP check it out. Okay. You don't want another one? Oh, there we go. It's a tree. Right, okay, and there's, I think Scooby Doo was behind the stage. He was behind here too. He was scared. But, uh, right, who else I have to give it to? I can't go in here either. I'm gonna have to get him to move somehow. I'm gonna try to tell you that this is shot to block this door. As long as he's standing there, you can't get it. You couldn't just push it? Jeez, why are you that thing? He doesn't want one? Yo! Here, if you eat one, I'll help you find your pants. Yo, him, how else you eat one? Maybe he wants seconds. Oh wow, he did want his seconds. Now I can go inside. What? You have a flipping key right there. Flicking on it won't do anything, so. Fancy Scamancy. Oh, Fancy Smancy. Yeah, there we go. My days, you didn't need a war. He's just how old are you? I'm pretty sure he died. 
Yeah, apparently in the last episode, not to be too dark, but in the last episode, I think they chopped off his head. And now he's just lives like with a head. Something like that. Or was it Muriel's? It was both of them. Oh, no, no, no. They died, and now Courage was manipulating them as puppets. So, yeah, they're typically dead. Well, that's pretty dark and sad. Like, how are... Like, that's pretty sad, though. Uh, that's how the last episode of Courage ended. I think they were dead or something, and I encouraged me to blame them as puppets. Can I eat the finger sign? Can I this one? this one? It pays to be a crush. <laughs> Alright, what do I do? Oh! They moved the car, I, didn't, I never noticed that. Now have to go inside the mystery machine. It's locked. Hey, uh, Top Cat, I think that's what the name was. Yo, you gonna help me? We're just gonna stand there. Hey, Chief, man. Is behind you? Gotcha. He's dead trying to get in. Like, no one wanted him there, but, like, he's trying to get in. The door's open, so, like, just make yourself comfortable. So, like, he's gone. No? Can I go inside here still? Alright, I know it's locked, but... Is there something in between here? Maybe you can go down there. Alright, so I think I found some... Oh, he's keeping him distracted. Okay, and I think this was like the changing rooms. Yeah, and Judy Jetson was in this one, if I remember correctly. And... No, she's in the other one. That's the mirror, so she's in this one. No, that's Dexter. You won't let me in unless you things. There we go. She's just lying down on the couch like a police slide. You have to find her roses. So this is technically the only room I can go into. And there's pizza here. Oh, a mystery key. Who puts a key underneath pizza? That's my question. Pictures that's DD, and I think that's Abraham Lincoln. Hmm. Is there anything else we can do with this pizza? Look, some hard pizza. Okay, so we go down here. I have. Oh, I found a key to the mystery machine. That looks like a car key. So, therefore, we shall go to the mystery machine, which is out back. Oh, that's the broom closet. I don't even have. I knew that mob would be helpful. Oh, wait, I forgot. We have to get that to death. So. I'm going to take a poop in there. Hold on, just reading something. I'm not reading anything, but like. Haha, uh -huh, fail. Show off, fail. Alright. Oh my god, what is that sound? So now we got the mop, we have to give it to Dexter so we can clean, clean up Davy's mess. I think that's what he wanted it for. Didn't really read the dialogue. If you want to read it, just pause. I think I'm gonna start reading it for now. Oh. Here you go. Wants his tuxedo, he said. He got an envelope. I think I'm um exiting out the dialogue too fast for you guys to keep pausing me, so I'm sorry. Oh, there's roses, so I can pick that up and give it to Judy. I don't even remember their names. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't just pick one. <laughs> Look at Dexter, he's so dumb. Who remembers it? <sighs> Woo! Sorry, that moment when you're when like you feel a sneeze that's coming on. And that disappointment when it's not. Alright, so there was roses there. I don't know why I can just pick one. Alright, like I was saying, who remembers the um the show called Yoko? I love that show. I love it so fucking much. Uh, well, just so you guys know, they have a reboot version of it, but it's not that good. It's not animated no more, it's live action. Only when they go into Kozyoko, then it's then it's animated, but that kind of sucks. Uh, oh, the mirror's in there. Give me the key, Mojo Jojo. What else? If you look at, if you look at Mojo Jojo, you're gonna think that's Scooby-Doo. Like, just look at him and, like, kind of looks like Scooby-Doo. Alright. 
Yeah, but I'm Okay, that's nice. I think you just pointless. So now we gotta go inside the mirror's dressing room to get the. I keep thinking that up there is the dressing room. Wait, isn't that the back lot? Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. Okay, now we gotta go inside the mirror's dressing room. And I think that's where we get the roses. Yep. It's actually no. Oh, there's an envelope. Five out of ten. All right, now we can go in here and give her. And now we can find the envelope in here. Not that we're still hiding that. Look, there's an envelope right behind there. How can I not pick that up? There we go. Damn. Sorry. That's all she does. Lie down on that stupid couch. Doing what? Sorry, poster. And wait, can I go in here? Wait, what did I find? I found a key. Another key. Oh yeah, the mystery machine. I don't know. I think I found the envelope. Yeah, I'm completely done with the mystery machine. Oh my gosh! I... Just look at it. You would think that's the back line. The summer was in here. Oh, some things in there. I have to go behind the curtain to get Scooby out. He's out. Uh, okay. Well, I'm assuming something happened. Uh, something has to have happened. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, let me just. I want to flip and break the game if I do that. Alright, uh, let's get some finger sandwiches. Uh, that was what he wanted us to do. I thought that's what, uh, whoever's name was wanted us to do. Oh, there's a letter in there. Alright, that door had to have done something. No, no. Uh, this is our room, I'm assuming. So it was open like that, so I'm assuming this is ours. Come on, I'll never have to have done something. Probably in the back lot. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I keep thinking that that's the back lot. Oh, there's leather in the garbage can. Did, didn't I go in that garbage can? That leather was not there. Come on, I have to have done something. Well, why are they throwing letters out? Like, how do letters end up in friends? Maybe in Judy's room? Is that graffiti? It says Jet. Okay, well that's her last name. Well, they're short. Abbreviation of the last one. I thought Dexter's personal assistant was computer. Just so you know, in Cartoon Network, Fusion Fall, not Fusion Fall Flippin' Hero. No, not Fusion Fall Hero. No one likes that game. God, it's annoying. But yeah, in the original Fusion Fall, they showed how computer looks like. She's pretty hot, actually. Um, the most I can describe her is like she's like a girl. Like a hologram girl. Well, she's she's either a hologram or a robot. She can go in both forms. I think. Like uh, she looks like you know Dexter's mom bots, like that white robot Dexter made. Like, it's like a robot version of, her, of his mom. He kind of looks like that, except she's blue. She looks more like a unpaid intern. I'm assuming I have to talk to them. To just got him. Or take it easy, big fella. All right. Well, he has no point. Come on, I got one more envelope. Where did I have last envelope? Oh wait, what if I give Johnny his envelope right now? Well, uh, let's see here, buddy. Last time I checked, you wanted your envelope alone. I have nine envelopes, and possibly one of them are yours. How about you take it? Wait, wait, stand like that. <laughs> oh my god, his nose looks like a dick. Well, speaking of dicks, pause. Anyone notice how, uh, what's his name, Abaca Daniel? If you take out his arms and his legs, he looks like a penis. I didn't have to go on the internet to find that out. Like, if you literally just. I think I might as well just show you guys right now. Like, if you take away his arms and his legs, he looks like a penis. Uh, I don't know. The minute I saw him, I kind of knew that Abra. Uh, 
like. See that? I instantly knew that. Hey, Cartoon Network, you trying to troll with us? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out the theory. What is the theory behind uh, Princess Bubblegum? I don't know why. What's the theory behind Princess Bubblegum and um, Marceline? Apparently, I think they either used to be best friends or lesbians. I mean, it's pretty obvious they used to be lesbians. That's why Marceline was saying stuff like, oh, she never cares about her, or she only cares about herself. Or either that or they hated each other, because if you look in the episode where uh, Simon, like Ice King in his human form, if you look there, they kind of talked. About, they kind of showed their history, and when that, um, I think it was like a bubblegum truck or candy truck or something like that. I forgot what it was. Yeah, well, when that fell, like this white blob just, this white blob just fell, and like it had a face on it, so that could possibly be Princess Bubblegum. It probably turned into, it probably turned into a human. Simon met her, and you know, Princess Bub, um, Marceline probably hated her from that. But she felt like Simon likes her better. That's actually a really good theory. Cause you know, Simon Ice King did want to go after Princess Bubblegum a lot. Okay, what does he want to do? Okay, I want I know nothing about these missing envelopes. I knew if I would tell you, but I don't, so I am I, I will not. For I have nothing to tell. Oh my gosh. I thought I yeah. Aha! Aha! But seriously, I'm kind of sticking to the theory about how they used to be lesbians. It's pretty obvious. And that girl, that girl that they had to go get, um, Bambo or Blambo or whatever his name is, that long armed and legged teddy bear that Marceline likes, I think she probably used to be a part of the lesbian threesome. <laughs> probably would have hated her. Okay, well, I don't know where to go. Is it probably behind the mirror? No. I got too much. So, oh, I think it's probably in one of the pockets. Did I check in here already? Look at all these coats. Thank you. I like these coats. Is it not on the tray? On the platter? I don't know where else to go. I think I even had trouble finding the last envelope, too. It's probably in this bottle. Or is that it? Between the four. Where did he go? Oh, that's a mystery. It's stuck. Okay, now it did something. You can clearly tell now it did something. I doubt it's in this place, so let's go in the back lot and see. I'm not even gonna... Was that wall always there? I don't know what else to do. Like, where else, where is the last envelope? Like, you know it's somewhere in the game. Alright, uh, maybe this guy has it. Use this. Fancy schmancy. Wait, what's he saying again? Fancy schmancy what? Uh, back in my day we didn't need awards. <laughs> Maybe Scooby Doo has something to do with it. Huh? It's not in your butt. <laughs> hey! Oh, there we go. You saw how I went to his butt. You saw how it just perked up. I'm so pissed off. Hey, I found the envelopes. Yeah! <laughs> Look how happy he looks. Yeah. Ah! Oh, However, I wish you didn't get to play as IR. I really hate her. I wish you could play as uh, I am Weasel. So yeah, guys, that was uh, 19 minutes. Oh wow! But that's a uh, the envelopes, please. I am using OBS, so you can add your own logo and face cam. It had no time limit, and yeah, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And uh, see you later.